Hello mga Matthusiast! Welcome back sa ating YouTube channel kung saan ang mat ay mas pinadadali at mas minamahal. For today's video, tuturuan ko kayo kung paano ba kumuha ng value ng expression based dun sa value na ibinigay sa mga variables natin. Pero bago yun, siguraduhin na munang napindot nyo na dyan ang like button para mamaya hindi nyo na makalimutan at Siyempre, kung bago ka pa lang sa aming YouTube channel, pindutin na rin ang subscribe button at ihit mo na rin ang notification bell para lagi kang maging updated sa mga videos na i-upload ko. Okay na? Na-like, na-subscribe at na-hit na rin ang notification bell? Okay na. So, let's start. For your learning task number one, find the value of the expression given the value of the variables. Now, ito ay parallel lang dyan sa mga given ninyo sa inyong modules. Pero hindi ito yan ha. Ito muna or itong video na ito ay magiging guide nyo lang kung paano nyo sasagutan ang modules ninyo. So, wala nang marami pang daldal, ma'am. Simulan na natin. We have here 4x plus 5, wherein our x is equal to 2. Ibig sabihin, yung x natin dito ay papalitan natin ng 2. Pero lagi nyong tatandaan, mga anak, kapag ang constant may katabi siyang letter at wala kang nakikitang plus or minus between them, ibig sabihin, ang operation between them is multiplication. Ha? Okay, baka sasabihin nyo, hala, paano ko kaya gagawin to? Eh, wala namang offer operation, baka ang sabihin nyo 42 ito, kasi papalitan lang ng x, o papalitan lang ng 2 ang x, no ha? It means you have to multiply 4 and the value of x. So, ito ay magiging 4 times 2, kasi multiplication, and then plus 5. Okay, what is 4 times 2? We have 8. 8 plus 5 is how many? 13. Ayan na. Ayan na yung answer natin. Ang dali naman ng number 1 natin. Hindi tayo pinagpawisan. For number 2, we have here for xy plus x minus 3. Wherein our x is negative 2 and our y is equal to 4. So, ito magiging 4 times ano daw ang x? Negative 2. Okay. Times y which is 4. And then plus ano ulit ang x nyo? Negative 2 minus 3. Remind ko lang kayo ha sa multiplication. Multiplication and division rule of integers, ba? Diba? Kapag nag-multiply ka ng positive and positive, ang sagot dyan ay positive. Pag nag-multiply ka ng negative and negative, ang sagot pa rin dyan ay positive. Pero pag negative at positive, negative siya. Pag positive at negative, negative siya. Which means, pag similar or like signs ang minumultiply natin, ang sign ng product niya ay positive. Pero pag magkaiba, no matter kung sino ang mas mataas sa kanila, unlike sa addition, negative ang nagiging sign. Ha? Yung iba kasi nalilito, sinasabi nila, di ba ma'am yung ano, sign ng bigger number? Hindi, pag multiplication, no. Automatically, pag magkaiba sila ng sign, yung pair ng minumultiply, no? E di magiging negative na yung sign, no? Okay? Based on our rule. Okay? With this, we have 4 times negative 2. Isa-isahin natin, ha? Para hindi kayo malito. 4 times negative 2 is 8, di ba? 4 times 2 is 8. Pero dahil isang positive, isang negative yan. So, unlike sign sila, negative ang sign nyo dito. Okay? Times 4. Plus negative 2 minus 3. Okay, what is negative 8 plus 4? Ah, times 4. Negative 8 times 4 is 32. Pero dahil unlike sign sila, you have negative 32. Plus negative 2 minus 3. Okay, rule tayo ng addition ha. What is negative 32 plus negative 2? Diba? Same sign, add and keep. So, dahil same sign sila, i-add natin sila. 32 plus 2 is 34. And then, we keep the sign, which is negative. And then, minus 3. 
sa rule naman natin ng subtraction, di ba, we are doing KCC. Keep change, change para mas madali. Okay, so dito ko na lang ilalagay ha, kasi ayaw niya mag-enter. So, you will have here, di ba, negative 34 minus 3. You do keep, change, and then change. This is K. So, keep ito. Wala kang gagawin dyan. Then, we change the operation from minus to plus. Kasi nga, change siya. And then, eto namang sign nito na positive. Magiging negative din naman siya. So, you will have now negative 34 plus negative 3. Your answer will be negative 37. Oh, that's for number 2. Now, for number 3, we have this one for AB. Okay, wait. What happened? Enter ko lang. Ayan. Ayan. Oh, so, we have here number 3. We have 4AB minus C over ABC. Okay. So, may division tayo ha. So, we have here 4 times ano ang A mo? 4 times ano yung B mo? 3. And then, minus 10. Okay. Over... Ano ulit ang A? We have 4 times B, which is 3, and then C is 10. Okay, 1 by 1 tayo. What is a 4 times 4? 4 times 4 is 16. 16 times 3. O, ilagay ko dito ha. 16 times 3. We have here 3 times 6 is 18. Carry 1. 3 times 1 is 3 plus 1 is 4. So, you have here 48. 48 minus 10 over 4 times 3. That's 12 times 10, 120. So, what is 48 minus 10? 48 minus 10 is how many? Ah, di, andali lang yan. Wait, i-minus nyo lang. So, you will have 38. Okay, so you will have your 38 over 120. Ngayon, syempre, magkaiba tayo ng lalabas dyan, ha? Kasi iba yung given nyo. Pero kung kaya nyo pang isimplify based on your given, isimplify nyo pa. Ito ay divisible by 2. So, pwede ko siyang i-divide by 2. Kaya, magkakaroon ako dito ng 38 divided by 2 is 1. And then, you have 2 here. 18 divided by 2 is 9. So, 9 times 2 is 18, 0. So, you have 19 here over 120 divided by 2, 60. So, ayan na yung sagot. Kung kayang i-lowest term, i-lowest term. Kung hindi na kayang i-lowest term, edi okay na. Okay, for number 4, we have this one. O, tanggalin muna natin itong sumasagabal sa ating video. Okay, so we have here 2... Pero naka-parenthesis si xy plus 6. Ibig sabihin, kailangan isolve muna natin yung nasa parenthesis bago natin siya i-multiply by 2. So, you will have here 2 and then x. That is negative 5. Another parenthesis times negative 1, yung y mo. Plus 6. Okay. So, you will have here 2. What is negative y? Eh, negative y. Negative 5 times negative 1. Negative times negative is positive, diba? Similar sign means positive yung product. So, 5 times 1 is 5. So, you have 5 plus 6. Okay, so you will have here 5 plus 6, 11. Oh, now, what is 2 times 11? Pwede mo nang i-multiply kasi na-operate mo na yung nasa loob. Okay, so 2 times 11 is 22. That's it. Okay, now for number 5, last number natin, we have 2x plus 5 over 3x minus 6. So, we have here, wait lang, ayan, nagtataka ako kasi walang y. So, eto ay, sorry, y dapat ha, kasi may value ka ni y. Ayan, o, so, let's try this one. So, 2x, so you will have here 2 times negative 2 plus 5. Kasi negative to yung x natin. Over 3 times, ano yung x ulit? Negative 2 minus negative 6. Okay, what is 2 times negative 2? 
2 times negative 2 is negative 4. Bakit? 2 times 2 is 4, pero isang positive, isang negative, magkaiba sila, kaya negative. Plus 5 over 3 times negative 2 is negative 6, ha? Kasi 3 times 2 is 6, dahil isang positive, isang negative, negative yung sign nila. Minus negative 6. Okay, dahil dyan, dito na tayo. What is negative 4 plus 5? Same sign, add and keep. Different sign, subtract. So, dahil different sign sila, isa, subtract mo sila. 4 minus 5 or 5 minus 4. Kung mas mataas ito, pagbalik ta rin mo lang para ma-minus mo. So, you will, you will have 1. Pero sa sign, use the sign of the bigger number. Then, you'll be exact. Oh, so, we have here, ano mas mataas, yung 4 or yung 5? Siyempre, yung 5. Ano yung sign ng 5? Positive. Kaya positive 1 yan. Okay, dito naman to. Dahil ito ay minus, you do KCC. Keep, change, and then change. Okay? So, ikikip ko ito. And then, iti-change ko, iti-change ko. So, negative 6, magiging plus, magiging plus. So, negative 6 plus 6, that is 0. Okay? Kasi, negative 6 plus 6, ba? Same sign, add and keep different sign subtract. So, 6 minus 6 is 0. Okay? Use the sign of the bigger number. Dahil walang bigger number dyan, pareho sila, 6 and 6. Wala rin ang sign ng 0 natin. Pero, nagkataon lang dito ha, this is undefined. Okay, dahil ito yung naging given ko, pero sa inyo, possible na hindi zero ang maging sagot, ha? Kung kaya, kayang i-lowest term, i-lowest term, kung hindi na kaya, okay lang. Pero dahil sa akin, zero ang naging sagot dito sa nag nagawa kong given, and then my answer is undefined, okay? Huwag matakot na baka bakit iba yung naging procedure nung sa akin, basta... Sundin nyo lang yung ginawa ko, magiging okay yung sagot nyo. Huwag nyo lang isipin na dapat pareho tayo na maging sagot. Okay? Kung may makuha kayong value dito, kung 4 yung nakuha nyo, okay. Kung 5, okay. Kung 2 over 4, edi eh lowest term nyo. Ha? So, hanggang dito na lang itong video na ito. Kung nagustuhan mo at may natutunan ka, please wag kalimutang mag-comment dyan. Huwag aalis ng hindi nagko-comment sa video na ito para ma-up ang video na ito at makita din ng ibang mga grade 7 na nangangailangan ng tulong natin. Okay, let's spread the love of math. Thank you and bye!